Hey everyone, so this will be a real world speed test here between the brand new, just came out, Samsung Tab A8 versus the, well, not that very old either. Uh, came out near the end of last year uh, in 2021. Uh, this is the A7 Lite, Tab A7 Lite here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is this is the base version of the A8, where this is actually the middle version, maybe even top version, of the A7 Lite. Uh, which means this has four gigabytes of RAM, whereas this only has three. Uh, and we'll see how much of a difference that really makes. I don't think it'll really make much of a difference, but we will see. Uh, so first we will go on to Google Chrome. I said we'll go on to Google Chrome. Uh, we are going to go to MonsterHunter.com. I'm going to go ahead here and hit. Uh, this is running on, as you can see, dark mode. Uh, this is not, whoops, alright, let's retry that, okay, it's so a one, two, and three, here, so we'll see, there we go, I believe that goes to desktop website right away, I don't think the A7 light does, there we go, uh, it's both pretty dang quick here, go ahead and hit that, you will hit Nintendo Switch, we are going to hit the trailer for them. Uh, let's go ahead again and get this back into desktop mode because it got out of it. And this time it's actually hit this one. Now nah, it's hit the same one as we've been doing. One, two, three. Keep it a bit more consistent. All right. Make sure my volumes were off. And here we go. Uh, so, see, this is actually lagging out a bit. Uh, but it's lagging out. This is lagging out a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, so, web based videos are harder on these tablets than, say, YouTube would be. Uh, you see, this is actually loaded in. It's just having a very hard time doing it. Uh, the A8 is doing just fine. A little bit every now and then, but it's not bad at all. Whereas the A7 Lite is having some issues. Again, this has actually more RAM than what this has. Uh, just to just the processor that's in them. Uh, they're way different processors. Uh, we won't keep those open though. Keep those open though. Uh, next we will show you guys. We don't, only thing we have open here is Google Chrome. Uh, next we will go into the Play Store. And let's see if there's anything that's the same on both of these. Uh, so we'll go into Balloons, uh, Tower Defense Battle. Let's go in with a different picture this time. There we go. We'll keep that open. And we'll keep that on open here. Next, we'll go into Roblox, open up a game. Uh, if you guys want to see actual gaming videos on these, you can check out my. Well, check out this channel. Actually, I think I have some Roblox on this channel. Otherwise, my gaming channel has some Roblox. Uh, so, A8 is going to be faster here. We're not going to go into a game. We're just going to open up the little picture thing here. Um, A7 Lite is struggling right now. There we go. So, you can see the A A8 is definitely going to be quicker. Uh, Pricing-wise... So, this is $230 here in the U.S. Uh, yeah, so this is $230 here in the U.S. This is normally $200 for the version I have here. Uh, that is with 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Otherwise, it's $160 for the 32 gigabytes storage, 3 gigabytes of RAM. So what should be more comparable to this one as far as storage and RAM goes. Uh, so, but really there's only $30 difference between the two I have here. Uh, otherwise, normally $70 difference. All right, next we'll go into Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes comes on everything. All right, we are going to retry that because it had an update since last time I opened it. Or something there. Let's go back into that. Uh, so they're both about the same on that. Yeah, I don't really have any notes on either of these. 
We'll open up just a couple more things here. So let's go into clacks. Over clack. Uh, let's see, we will go into the calculator here. One, two, three. Those types of things, it's basically going to be the same as far as opening them goes. I'll go into cameras. Alright, now let's go back and we will, well, let's do YouTube as well. Throw one more in there. One, two, and three. Again, this has dark mode on, this does not. And explore, and the plus button, and subscriptions, and library. All right, then let's go back here. Uh, so first thing we opened was Google Chrome. So that is perfect and perfect. And yes, I have the clicking on, <laughs> on here. I'll usually turn that off. I just have not done so yet. Uh, next was the App Store. Both are fantastic. Roblox, apparently I was on the avatar in that one, I'm real high on this one. Go ahead and get these orientations the correct way. I really wish these would do that auto orientate themselves, but they don't. Uh, funnily enough, the 2020 A7, the predecessor to this one, actually does that for me. I don't know, maybe it's a setting somewhere. Uh, notes. Both are good. Clock. Both are good. And calculator. Both is good. Camera. Good. And last but not least, we will have YouTube. Uh, then we will also do a quick speed or speaker test. Uh, my mic is not the best for doing a speaker test, but it'll give you guys somewhat of an idea at least. We will go into YouTube here, and we're going to royalty free music. All right, here we are on YouTube. Everything is cleared on both of them. We'll hit royalty free music and show you guys how quick these are with getting to what you want to get to on YouTube at least. And here, then I'll come back once the ads are done doing the thing. Well, we're going to start off here with the A7 Lite. Turn that volume up all the way. Uh, so we have two speakers on this side and two speakers on, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not right. One speaker on this side, one speaker on that side. I'm thinking of the A8 here. Uh, this has dual speakers, that has quad speakers. So, not bad. Oh, almost said other things. Uh, these are not bad. That's up all the way. Again, remember, this will sound way better in real life uh, if you guys do it. Uh, my mic is not the best for this type of thing. But it will give you somewhat of an idea, at least. Uh, this is Now, this has quad speakers, two on that side, two on that side. There's two. And there's two. So the A8 does sound better and it is louder. Uh, actually, quality-wise, they're probably both about the same. Uh, this is definitely louder, as one would expect from a almost two-inch bigger device. Uh, that's usually how things are. Uh, bigger the device, usually the better, or at least the louder the speakers are. Not always the case, 
But then also too, it has two more speakers. as double the speakers of what the A7 Lite has. Uh, both of these, I would say, are actually pretty close in comparison, especially if you get the version I have here on the A7 Lite. Uh, both of them can do games about the same, uh, which is to say you can do them in low graphics, uh, maybe medium graphics, depending on what game you have, uh, what game you're doing. Uh, of course, I not show it off. This is not for a gaming video. Uh, but you see, speed-wise, they're both pretty much about the same. Uh, 8, 8 should be a little bit faster, again, as you would expect for a bit of a more expensive bigger device but I think what really comes down to if you're just comparing these two devices is the screen size do you want bigger or do you want smaller uh, of course this will also weigh a bit less as well uh, both displays are very nice both these do have headphone jacks in them and both speakers are pretty dang good uh, with the A8 being a bit louder than the A7 Lite uh, but yeah so really I think it comes down to well what size screen you want. Uh, so, I mean, that's probably the biggest difference between these two. Uh, so you guys you guys let me know in the comments below though. Uh, do you guys like one of these two? Or do you like a different tablet altogether? And let me know. As always, I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.